Hello, today we're going to talk about um, solving systems of linear inequalities. So when we did inequalities before, it's going to be the same as far as graphing them. So we, uh, if it's less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, it's a solid line. If it is less than or greater than, it's a dashed line, and then we either shade above or below. And the idea behind this, it's where the shading intersects. Where is it true for both? equations. So for our first example, uh, let's do y is greater than negative 2x plus 1. And let's also do y is less than or equal to x plus 3. Okay, both of these are in slope-intercept form, so that should make this a little bit easier. Um, so let's go ahead and graph the, the black line first. Our y-intercept is 1. Our slope is negative 2, so we're going to go down 2 and over 1, down 2 and over 1, down 2 and over 1. We're going to do the same thing going the other way. Up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1. Whoops, I went over 2, up 2 and over 1. Then because it's greater than, we're going to put a dashed line. Don't forget to put your arrows on the end. And because it's greater than, we're going to shade above the line. So just real quick. Let's just double check that. 0, 0 is not on the line. Remember, you can pick a point not on the line. And if it's true for that point, you shade that side. If it's false, you shade the other side. If we plug in 0, we'd have 0 is greater than 0 plus 1, which is false, so we do shade the other side, so we did that one correctly. For our next line, y is less than or equal to x plus 3. Our y-intercept is 3. Our slope is 1, which means up 1 over 1. So let's just continue that pattern both directions. And because it is equal to, it is a solid line. Because it's less, because it's in slope intercept form and less than we are going to shade below. But let's go ahead and pick the point zero, 0, just to double check. This says that 0 is less than 0 plus 3 is 3. So 0 is less than or equal to 3, which is true, which means we shade underneath. Now where it's the answer is where it's true for both. So we're going to make this region right here darker. just so it's obvious that that's the region that where it's going to be true. And because this is a solid line, if it's on this line right here, it's a solution. If it's on this dashed line, it's not a solution. But anywhere in here is a solution. Uh, one thing that I've asked you right up here is to list three possible solutions. Uh, so let's go ahead and list three. So just three points anywhere. So let's pick the point 2, 2. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the point, let's pick the y-intercept of the red line, actually, because it's solid, so that's going to be a possible point. So that's going to be 0, 3, and then any other point works, so let's go to negative, t uh, or to positive 2, negative 1. And those were just random points that I picked as solutions. There's an infinite number. Any point in the doubly shaded region is a solution. Okay, now sometimes we may have more than two lines, and that's what's going to happen with this one. So for my first equation here, which I'm going to put in green, let's have x is greater than negative 2. Let's put a line in blue, which is going to be y is less than or equal to 6. And then I'll put one more equation in red. Let's have this be y is greater than 2 thirds x minus 3. Okay, and again, we're still going to, we're going to graph every single one of those. We're still looking for where it's doubly shaded or where it's shaded for all of them. In this case, it'd be triply shaded. Uh, so let's go ahead and graph the one in slope-intercept form first. Y-intercept is negative 3. Slope is positive two-thirds. We're going to go up two and over three, up two and over 
3, up 2, and over 3. Let's go the other direction as well, down 2 and over 3. Down 2 and over 3, down 2 and over 3. Because it is a greater than, it does not have equal to, it's a dashed line. So let's draw a dashed line. And because it's greater than, we're going to shade above the line. Let's still do, just do a quick little double check. 0, 0 is not on the line. Uh, so we have 0 is greater than 0 minus 3. 0 is greater than negative 3, which is true. So we're going to shade this region right here. Let's go ahead and graph the green line next. Uh, the green line is x is greater than negative 2. So whenever you have an x equals equation, what does that look like? That's correct. That's a vertical line because the slope is undefined. There's not a slope on that one. So we're going to go to negative 2. Uh, because it's greater than, it's going to be a dashed line. So I'm going to draw a dashed line right there. Uh, because it's greater than, I'm going to go over here, but let's still just double check. Let's pick the point 0, 0. That says 0 is greater than negative 2, which is true, which means that it's this region right here. So, so far, the doubly shaded region is right here. So we have one more to graph, which we'll do in blue. And this is going to be y is less than or equal to 6. Um, I could rewrite that as y is less than or equal to 0x plus 6. So my y-intercept is 6. My slope is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, because it is a... Um, because it's less than or equal to, this is a solid line. There we go. And uh, because it's less than, we're going to shade below. Let's still double check with 0, 0. 0 is less than 6 is true, which means that the part where it's true for both of them is this region right in here. So any point in there is a, is a solution. So let's just pick three points in there that are solutions. We have 0, 0 is a solution. We have 1, 3 is a solution. And remember, I'm just picking these randomly. Uh, there's an infinite number. Everyone in the class could pick different points, and it could still be right. Um, and then let's pick... Um, 3, 0. There we go. There are three possible solutions. <coughs> okay, we have one more example to do. Today is going to go a little bit faster than it has been. Um, so let's have our first equation be y is greater than or equal to negative 1 sixth x plus 7. And let's have another equation at x plus 6y equals 12. Let's go ahead and put this in slope-intercept form uh, just because it's going to be easier to graph because uh, my graph only goes to 10. It doesn't go to 12. And if I use my x and y intercepts, my x intercept is 12. Uh, so let's go ahead and subtract x from each side. We end up with 6y equals negative x plus 12. Let's divide everything by 6. Whoops, let's make this less than or equal to. I missed that. So less than or equal to. So y is less than or equal to, that's going to be negative x over 6. Let's go ahead and write that as negative 1, 6, x plus 2. Now let's go ahead and graph that red line first since I already have the red pen in my hand. My y-intercept is positive 2. My slope is negative 1, 6, so down 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's do the same, go up the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, because there is an equal sign, it is a solid line. There we go. And because it's less than, we're going to shade below, but let's double check. Zero. Zero is less than two, which is true, which means I shade down here. Now let's look at the blue line. Uh, blue line, the y-intercept is seven. One, wait, one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My slope again is negative one, six, so down one over six, up one over six. And it's, it's a, equals is included, so this is going to be a solid line. And it's greater than, so we're going to shade above. Let's go ahead and check that zero. That says zero is greater than uh, seven, which isn't true, which means we have to shade everything on the other side, which means we shade over here. Okay, so because is there any overlapping of either of these two graphs? Is there going to be any overlapping? No, the slopes are the same, so the lines are parallel. Uh, so the answer is no solution. Now I do want to point out that just because the slopes are the same and it's because it's an inequality doesn't mean it's no solution. If the red line were greater than and shaded above, the blue line were less than and shaded below would be all the region in between. If they were both less than, it'd be everything under here. If they were both greater than, it'd be everything up there. So just because the slopes are the same does not mean it's no solution when it's an inequality like this because of the shading. And uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.